maybe not. I want to go to my exclusive guest tonight, Ginger Smith, the little child's cousin. Uh, Ginger hey. Smith, uh, thank you for joining us exclusively tonight. Uh, we want to help. Uh, we want to understand the dynamic. First of all, I understand that you are at the police a command post or the command post where volunteers and police are gathering and searching. But tell us about the dynamic between the mother of your little missing cousin and her ex-boyfriend. Why was she even living at the house of her ex-boyfriend's mother with her ex-boyfriend and her two kids? Um, I, I really don't know. I do know that that she was living with them, um, and I believe she had been living there from March until about a month before Elena uh, came up missing. And the night before Elena came up missing, um, she had called them and told them that she had no place to go, no place to, you know, it was cold, it was rainy, um, they needed food, they needed a place to spend the night. So supposedly Stephen's mother allowed her to come and spend the night there. Well, why would she not have any place to live? What I mean, what mother um, who has a four-year-old child and an 18-month-old child has no place to live? Was her life in crisis before this little precious innocent child disappeared, Ginger? Well, all I can speculate on that is I do know that um, the father, her and, and CJ, uh, Terry Jr., had separated um, about February, I understand. Um, and she immediately started living with this gentleman. Um, she could have definitely taken the children to TJ, uh, but she was holding the children from TJ, and I kind of letting him see him very sparingly. Um, he's come over a couple of times, wanted to get her, get the kids, you know, and she's already had excuses. And then this particular day, well, actually what happened was when she got thrown out of the house, uh, let me back up a little bit. Then when she did get thrown out, um, she actually turned the kids over to TJ. TJ had had the, the girls for approximately a week. Um, and, you know, he really thought there was not going to be no big issues, nothing to have to really jump into immediately uh, as far as custody. And he had to work, um, and his girlfriend had to work, so they allowed her to have the girls, but they were supposed to stay at her her father's home, um, which the agreement was they'd stay at her father's home. He'd pick them up in the morning when they got off of work. Um, so when he went to get the girls at her dad's, he, the dad said that she had never came there. So okay, therefore, well, that's well, what Ginger, first learned. Hold on for a second, because there's a lot of people you're mentioning and our viewers. I want to I want to bring our viewers up to date on the cast of characters here so we can try to solve this terrible mystery. The baby's mother, Angela, you've been seeing her crying. There she is. Uh, was staying with her ex-boyfriend, Stephen, in his mother's home at the time of the baby's disappearance. Now, that ex is apparently in hiding because he's getting death threats. Cops have not charged him with anything. He is not considered a suspect. I want to stress that. But Angela's father, the father of uh, this woman, who's in jail, believes he is responsible for whatever happened to baby Elena. Listen. She's guilty of not taking care of that baby like she should have. She should have took the baby to the hospital. She should have been truthful and done. She shouldn't even been in that house from the get-go. She doesn't know where the baby's at, but she knew what happened to the baby. This is a very complicated family tree. Let's lay it out for you. Angela was staying again with her ex-boyfriend, Stephen King, not the author, in his mother, Julie's home. At the time, the child disappeared. Angela's four-year-old daughter was also in the home. The father of two children is... Terry Seinfurth Jr., TJ, I guess is what you were calling him, who came to the house to pick up his kids in a custody exchange. Angela refuses to hand over little Elena, uh, so he gets his dad, Terry Seinfurth uh, Sr., and they come over, and all of a sudden, that's when this woman here says, that baby you're looking at there has disappeared.